we also have Shri Iyer joining us. Mr. Iyer, welcome to India Ahead. What is your take on these two issues that we're discussing tonight? Number one, should Twitter have an edit button? Will an edit button make Twitter a better platform or actually create more chaos? And two, what is your take on Maverick Elon Musk now having a seat on the board because he's already hinting at uh, quite a few changes that may be in the pipeline. What's your take? Um, Neha, it's always a pleasure to be with you. And uh, it's the first time I'm joining you on an India Head platform. <laughs> so namaskar to all my viewers. Thank you for um, coming, sir. Likewise, please go ahead. No, no, my pleasure. You've always been a very articulate host. Um, Neha, the, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Elon Musk is he's Steve Jobs version two. And, and I say this thing with you know, a lot of weight behind why I'm saying that. He's one individual I've seen who can manage multiple companies as a CEO. I mean, doing one company is a nightmare. And imagine this guy is running three or four companies now, and now he wants to have a say in Twitter. And I just think that having the edit feature is a godsend because say you said something with, uh, you intended to say not something, and then you said it, and then you realize after you hit the fatal tweet button that, oh my goodness, I'm the exact opposite of what I wanted to convey. So it gives you an escape route for that. Now, if somebody changes their tweet after say a few hours, Twitter should be able to keep a forensic trail of what happened so that somebody cannot, you know, walk back their words, if you will. So that can be something that Twitter can provide to law and order agencies, supposing they're, they're going after someone saying that, did he really say this thing? So they can do this. It's all possible. It is not that hard. It is a little bit of a change in Twitter software to do this. And then they have to propagate it through multiple platforms and so on and so forth. But Neha, having the edit feature, especially since our thumbs are not as big as we want them to be, and they don't, they're too fat for <laughs> any of the TV screen, for the, some, the smartphone screens. So, you know, we get our vowels mixed up, sometimes our names mixed up. And then there is the autocorrect, uh, you know, dragon waiting by to misquote you and misspell you. <laughs> <laughs> so all this together, yes. you, know, you don't realize it until you hit the fatal tweet button and then, you know, oops, uh, and we, we almost always check, did I tweet what, and let me make sure I tweeted it right. And yes. then you realize, you know, right now we have to delete it. You lose all the traction that you got in the first place. Yeah. So in, in, in that way, I think I like it. And uh -huh. it didn't, I mean, it's surprising that it took an Elon Musk to come and tell Twitter what was something that was fairly obvious, in my yes. opinion? Mm -hmm. Because Neha, I'll tell you, YouTube today has some amazing trimming features on a video. And okay. the reason they do that is like, you know, if there is a, 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 a sensitive statement that you want to withdraw from the, uh, the video, video processing takes much longer, much more complicated. They allow you to do that. Do you, re you retain your traction? And, and the same thing with Facebook and other platforms too. So Twitter to give this edit is a very, very good feature. Mm -hmm. And I think there is going to be nothing lost for the common man, in my opinion. I think I agree with you by and large, because fact of the matter is that all of us are sick and tired of the fact that, you know, we have those fat fingers or a lot of us tend to be clumsy while using our smartphones and end up saying things that we don't want to say, making grammatical errors, uh, typographical errors, or as you said, uh, you know, the biggest pain, autocorrect, just changing the meaning of what you're trying to say. Final word to you, Shri Iyer. Now that we have somebody like an Elon Musk who is on the board of Twitter and he's already accusing Twitter of undermining free speech and democracy, do you think it's only a matter of time before the likes of Donald Trump are back on Twitter? And is that something most, you would back? Mo most likely, yes. And <laughs> I think I'll tell you one other little thing. I think there is a happy space that we, can't, we can all agree on. 10 minutes time for you to change your tweet and... Okay. Also, like Kushbuji said, what you can do is if you right mouse click on a tweet, then if supposing somebody added a knot or took out a knot, you can have a strike through on what got changed. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, if you okay. use Word, Microsoft Word, with the review button turned on, and then say you did, you did a document and your editor gave you some corrections, then with the review turned on, you can really see what specific changes 
the editor made. So something like that, if Twitter does it and gives a 10 minute limit for you mm -hmm. to change it after which you can't change. I think that could be a happy medium that we could all live with. I think that's something we could all agree on, a happy medium, especially those of us who are tired of those typos. They, uh, we are def desperately waiting for that edit button option. But could it give rise to other complications? We'll have to wait and see.